Funk breakable, a very important function, basically because all the windows and all the glass in your maps is going to be tied to this entity. So as you see here, I've got three types of materials. We've got a wood, a metal, and a glass. I'm going to click on each of them and hit Control T, and then change them to Funk underscore breakable. Hit Apply. What you can do is you can click Copy, click on the next one, hit Control T, and put Paste. Click on that, the next one, hit Control T, and put Paste. This is going to take all the original things that we copied, all of the settings, and it's going to apply them to all the, the next two that we just copied them onto. This is useful if you have a bunch of like specific settings. Obviously, we just kept it basic. So click on the first one, our wooden one, double click. I'm going to go down and look at a few of the things. So number one, you can hit Explosion Damage, and that basically says when you break it, it's going to explode with this much damage. I tend to not have windows breaking and killing people, but you can change that if you want. Same with explosion radius. You can make it so that it creates an explosion in a certain radius. Um, basically, the most important one is strength. So you're going to say, after however much damage, this will break. You can say, after 50 damage, this is going to break. That's what I'm going to change it to. Material type, this is how, when it breaks, the pieces are going to come apart, the sound it's going to make, the sound that you're walking on it is going to make, so I'm going to change it to wood. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can do that for that one. Now for the meta one, just like the last one, we're going to change the strength maybe to 100. So it's a little bit harder to break. Material type, we're going to change it to metal. Lastly, we have our glass one. Click on it, um, change the material type to glass and change the strength to 5, so it's very easy to break. Or, our, another thing you can do is you can go to Flags, the Flags tab, and say only break on trigger. I'm going to click on this one. So basically, what this is saying is you can walk up to it, shoot it all you want, nothing's going to happen. But if you hit a trigger, then it's going to break. This is great if you have something that, like you have maybe something floating up above, and you have a button you want to press, and then that glass will break and something will fall on you. So what I'm going to do is I have a button right here. Click on the button and Control T, tie it to Entity Funk button. Just a basic button. Hit Apply, go to the Flags tab, hit Don't Move so we don't have to change any of the speed settings or anything like that. Go to Outputs and you're going to say Add On In Glass Target Entity is named Glass via this input break. Hit Apply. Now we have to go back to our glass um, brush, double click on it, and make sure the name is glass. Basically all this is saying is, we have this piece of glass, you run up to it, you can break, you can try and shoot it all you want, nothing's going to happen because it only breaks on a trigger. This is our trigger, our button, you press the button, breaks the glass. You can apply this to a lot of cool things. And now I'm going to compile it.